Excuse me, sir. How you doing today? I'm doing good, thank you. How are you? Good, good. We're uh, just offering people uh, an instant free concert in their house today as part of a video we're making. Uh, no, thank you. I don't think so. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have a private concert in your home? My friend Guitaro and I are about to offer this stranger that private concert. We'll see what they say. Well, they didn't say anything. We make these videos as we like to connect with people through music, and so to encourage people to open up their doors, Reggie gave me this line to try. We're early. I'm really busy right now. Well, let's uh, brainstorm as we walk another line. Let's see here. I have your package. How you doing? Cat likes to walk, huh? Oh. Next thing we're gonna see is a guy taking this goldfish for a walk. Man, that camera angle's garbage. Like that? I like that a lot. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry I'm late. Well, I'm uh, my name's Rob Landis, and I'm offering people instant free concerts in their house as part of a video project I'm making, and I'm curious if you'd like to have some music in your home this afternoon. You have been here five minutes because you have been surfing. Would you mind if we came back maybe around 5 or 5.30? Yeah. Okay. Why wasn't he home? Uh, maybe my black eye scared him off. Yes, this one which I got falling out of bed. I wish I could tell you I got it fighting a bear or rescuing a young child, but I simply had a bad dream and flung myself out of bed, hitting my head on the nightstand. Whether or not it was my black eye or maybe something else, we were having no luck in this neighborhood, so we decided to head down the road to where we met the wonderful Miss Olivia in our last video and her neighbor, Christine Wade. Well, it's a, it's a pleasure. My name's Rob. Nice to meet you. Yes. Christine. Christine. Christine, nice okay, to meet you. Christine. Right. Could probably put something in the calendar. Hello. Hey, how are you? We were you yesterday. Oh, yeah, you're the way. We, could, we couldn't make it. Are you guys free tonight? Right now? Let's do it. Well, I'm sorry we missed our performance yesterday. How are you, Christine? Doing well. Good. Do you know Olivia across the street? We watch her YouTube. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh, Olivia. <laughs> I actually originally was from Taiwan and I went to IU, Indiana University, and that's where we met. So, uh, do you miss Taiwan? I do, actually, um, because I still have uh, family members, sisters, and their family. Both my parents passed away, but, so we still plan on visiting them. Yeah, yeah. well, tell your family I said Jiababwe. What? Jiababwe. Jiababwe. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> what? Scott. Scott, I'm Rob. Nice to meet you, Scott. Scott. I'm Reggie. Oh. Reggie. Well, nice to meet you, Scott. Nice to meet you. Welcome yeah. to our home. Have you picked up any other languages besides uh, Mandarin? No. But I speak at a school. I teach at a school where it's high school. Mm -hmm. Every person there has just arrived in America. Mm -hmm. We have 45 countries at my school. Wow. So it's an international school. Yeah. But international in the sense that it's refugees or people who had to leave their country not because they wanted to because it was like leave or die and like Afghan I was just now with kids from Afghanistan mm. before I came in mm. how was that I was helping them prepare for college scholarships mm. that must be fulfilling yeah oh yeah Christine actually had a song in mind the song is uh, from from Fiddler on the Roof mm. it's sunrise sunset and she decided that the main for your company should be Fiddler on the Move. Fiddler on the Move? Yes. Oh, that's genius. Yes, sir. Oh, I love that. The song was played at our wedding. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's her dad came over from Taiwan and it was really, really sad for him because she just came for college. The plan was get your education and go back. And then she had to tell him, oh, I'm not coming back. Wow. So that was sad for him. He was crying at the wedding, and uh, my dad's sister sang the song. And that's, yeah, I don't know if you can do that, but if not, I can. 
We'll see. I can definitely make an attempt for it because I am familiar with that one. I was actually the Fiddler on the Roof um, when I was 15 years old in my school musical. So I learned all the, all the music for that, yeah. My mother passed away April 28th. Mm -hmm. uh, it's two years now. So uh, I remind our son Ben about this day. And then he wrote a, a really touching reflection and tribute to my mother, and he actually drew that picture of my mother, too. So he used this photo and created a oh. memorial purpose. He, yeah. he even wrote some lines that touched me, too. Can I read them out loud? Sure. If you look at her face, you will see her children. If you look at the women and mothers her children become, you will see that she is not gone. Beautiful. Well, with that, we might be ready for our first song. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna slide over there. Slide to the left. Well, my left, you're right. No, slide. <laughs> so you're right. Slide to the left. I was a college student at Indiana University, and I went to Chinese Moon Festival event. Oh. It's like uh, 300 Chinese people and me. And, and I saw a crowd of people gathering around a pavilion, and they were up on bleachers, and everybody was looking. And I heard a beautiful, uh, like an ancient Chinese instrument. And I went over and climbed up the back of the, back of the bleachers and I looked and there was a girl sitting there playing. Uh, wow, wait, guess what? It's her. Wow. All right. Yeah. And that's, uh, yeah. In your dream. Inspirational. In your dream. <laughs> Amazing. Turning point moment. Changed your life, didn't it? Her instrument, the one I just told you about, is right around the corner in that room. Right? Wait, it's a his, their concert now. That was okay. Maybe for now, let's do some sunrise, sunset. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that'll put you in the, in the mood to, you know, revisit the, those memories when you met your husband yeah. and bring out the instrument. I think it's more like a memory for father. Uh, no, actually, uh, uh, it kind of goes a full circle with that music, that, that piece song. Because it was in our wedding, 
um, my dad came, but my mother stayed uh, where she had. And so I missed her that she wasn't able to come to my wedding. And, and then two days ago, that was her uh, passing uh, anniversary day. And actually this outfit belonged to my mother. Mm. When she uh, was alive. So it felt, uh, I felt her presence. And when I thought about this song, it always kind of bring me back to where I was as a child with her. And then my, my father gave me away. And because that song, I felt like it's, it's human life cycle. It's sunrise, sunset, and, and it, it means a lot to me. So I'm, Beautiful. I'm glad you can play that. the lyrics of the, this piece. It, I, I'd love for you to tell me uh, about it. It really is about family relationship. Um, I think particularly if you have children, you know um, what happened to the little girl I used to raise. 
Now she's grown, she's gone. So it really is a human life, a life cycle, just like a season change. Yes, we miss our deceased parents, but they knew that we were carrying on their dreams. And we miss them, but I know they were in our heart too. So uh, yes, it, the wedding scene kind of went through my mind. I, I remember my father uh, flew from Taiwan to come to our wedding. And he was very sad because that was his little girl. Mm. That, just like in the, in the movie. Mm. That little girl went far away. Yeah. yeah. Our son and his little tribute to my mother, and he wrote that too. That my mother, because he knew Grandma Wu, that's my maiden name, um, from childhood, but then she got sick. So his memory was always that wonderful, kind grandma while he was young. So to him, he said, Grandma, you, you're not gone. You were in my thoughts. You were in the wind, in the trees, that I see you every day. So I, I felt that way too, that they're not gone. We miss their presence, but they're not gone. And this particular music you played so beautifully. Mm. And really, that kind of... The, one of the reasons I know it so well is because my mom used to sing it at the piano when she played. Um, oh. I have six brothers and sisters, and yeah. she would sing that to us when we would play together. And yes. Grew up in a musical family, so... She was thinking about it too. She was thinking, you children will all one day leave her. Yeah. Yeah. But now she lives across the street from me, so she can't be too far away. <laughs> That's true. And, and guess and, and guess who is even closer than that? The son you're expecting. We are expecting a boy in September. Oh wow! Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Another sunrise. <laughs> mm. Literally. Literally. So this one's gonna rise and be taller than you, bro. He will be. He will be. Holding, <laughs> All right, uh, say Derby. Derby! Christine and Scott were complete strangers to me before this moment, and I would have paid little attention to them in line at the grocery store, but hearing their story and playing for them has bonded us forever and left me with a memory that I will never forget. I hope to see them again and to show them the pictures of the sun I am yet to meet. Another sunrise, as Scott would say. Sunrise, sunset. Swiftly flow the days. Seedlings turn overnight to sunflowers, blossoming even as we gaze.